According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First off, we'd like to thank you for all the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. What do you do when you feel anxious? Have you noticed yourself turning to your favorite comfort food when you're stressed out? Food plays such a large part in your everyday life, from biophysical development to social development. But oftentimes you might forget that it also plays a role in your mental health. In moments of stress, it can be tempting to distract yourself with food as it can provide you some comfort and relief, but sometimes it can actually aggravate what you may already feel. So here are six foods that might be worsening your anxiety. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have an anxiety disorder or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, sugar. Do you often find yourself reaching for something sugary when you feel stressed or tired? This may be because sugar suppresses activity in the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis which can give you the temporary illusion of feeling more relaxed. You may also be reaching for sweets because you think it'd give you an extra boost of energy. However, studies have shown that it actually has no positive long-term impact on your mood. In fact, a recent 2019 study found that it increased the chance of mood disorders in men and recurrent mood disorders for men and women. Number two, coffee. Can you go a day without a cup of coffee? <laughs> I can't. Although there are many health benefits to coffee, there have been studies that found a strong association between caffeine and anxiety. A 2008 study found that coffee blocks adenosine, a brain chemical that makes you feel tired and triggers the release of adrenaline, which may result in anxiety. In fact, some of the symptoms you get from drinking too much coffee are similar to symptoms of anxiety. Heart palpitations, nervousness, and restlessness are just some they have in common. Number three, aged, fermented or cultured foods. Did you know that cheese and cured meats can affect your anxiety? This is because during the fermentation period, these foods release biogenic amines that accumulate the more it ages. One of these amines is histamine, a chemical that helps your body get rid of allergens. However, when you eat foods that are high in histamines, such as wine, cheese, and cured meats, it can produce an intolerance, which can increase your adrenaline levels and lead to anxiety and insomnia. Number four, nightshades. Do you enjoy eating potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, and berries? Foods like these belong to a class of vegetables called nightshades. While they do have many health benefits, they're also known to produce their own form of pesticide called glycoalkaloids. This mainly targets earthworms and insects, but can be harmful to humans because it blocks the enzyme that helps produce a neurotransmitter necessary for you to sleep. It may ultimately result in sleepless nights and more frequent bouts of anxiety. Although nightshades carry this neurotoxin in small doses, it can accumulate over time if you eat them frequently. Number five, gluten. Do you tend to go for the gluten-free option when you eat? Gluten refers to a specific group of proteins found in cereal grains, such as wheat, rye, and barley. It can cause intestinal inflammation and also aggravate mental health issues. In fact, there is literature linking celiac disease to mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression. Though there is not an exact explanation for how they are related, one popular theory deals with the bidirectional communication between the gastrointestinal tract and the brain. They suggest that any alteration in intestinal permeability, a hallmark trait of celiac disease, can eventually develop psychiatric manifestations. And number six, processed foods. Do you find it really difficult to avoid processed foods? While they are convenient, if you're in a rush or in the mood for a snack, they can have adverse effects on your mental health. This is because processed foods like savory snacks and microwave-ready meals contain high amounts of sugars and fats. Such high amounts of sugars can create spikes in your insulin levels and produce anxiety. Additionally, these foods are typically low in essential vitamins that are necessary for your brain. Have you made changes to your diet? Did it help you feel less anxious? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. 
And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.